Good day, viewers and to our esteemed guests for today's show. Welcome to Everyday Show, where we talk about topics not talked about enough in everyday lives. My name is Jamie, and our guest for today is Miss Ariane. Hi, Jamie. Good day. And good day as well to all of our viewers in today's show. We have a very interesting topic today. So, shall we begin the questions? First question will be, what is cyberbullying? According to UNICEF, cyberbullying is bullying with the use of digital technologies. It can take place on social media, messaging platforms, gaming platforms, and mobile phones. It is repeated behavior aimed at scaring, angering, or shaming those who are targeted. Its examples include spreading lies about or posting embarrassing photos of someone on social media, sending hurtful messages or threats via messaging platforms, lastly impersonating someone and sending mean messages to others on their behalf. Has there been any instances of this cyberbullying that is happening lately? Cyberbullying has been a rampant alongside the act of face-to-face -face bullying. But what makes cyberbullying different is that it leaves a digital footprint. A record that can prove useful and provide evidences to help stop the abuse. This issue has its effects on its victims. These effects can last a long time and affect a person in many ways. Some are mentally feeling upset, embarrassed, stupid, even angry. Second, emotionally, feeling ashamed or losing interest in the things you love. Physically, tired, loss of sleep, or experiencing symptoms like stomach aches and headaches. The feeling of being loved at or harassed by others can prevent people from speaking up or trying to actually deal with the problems. In extreme cases, cyberbullying can even lead to people taking their own lives or the suicide. So another very interesting question, or rather unusual question from one of our viewers. What do you think are the three capital sins that are most likely the root cause of cyberbullying? Instead, looks like some people are still stuck in their ignorant and greatest ideologies. I'm really disappointed with some pageant fans from certain countries. Your hate takes away the fun and enjoyment from this one-in-a-lifetime experience. Is it really that difficult to spread love instead, instead of hate? No one's saying you have to support all contestants. All we're saying is that you support your delegate without bringing others down. You don't need to dim someone's light in order for you to shine. The world is evolving. People are realizing that beauty is not exclusive to one specific group of people. The definition of beauty applies to all because beauty can be seen in different shapes, shades, and sizes. Please see the beauty that is in this world. We don't need to look the same. We just need to treat each other the same. Um, instances that cyberbullying has occurred. Um, the, um, this news about Miss Universe Canada exposes her um, Filipino citizens who bully her for her skin color. Miss Universe Canada Nova Steven has called out Filipino citizens for bullying her because of her skin color. Among the criticism were born chicken. Um, she is toasted and burned. I'm not judging but I'm really scared for her for real like she is not human her instagram post last may 5 2021 was here we go again i've been receiving this picture in my inbox lately um with all that has been going on in that world black lives matter asians are human you would think this would bring us together in her post she said about how the netizens bullied her appearance but she later unedited it and that and said that she did not generalize all Filipinos in her statement. She also added that instead of spreading hate, we all should spread love to one another. Why do you think these three capital sins are the root causes of cyberbullying? The three capital sins where we think is the most likely root cause of cyberbullying in both incidents of cyberbullying the three capital scenes where we think is most likely the root of cyberbullying are first is the pride. For example, 
a Miss Universe contestant, cyberbullying some Filipinos think that because they have lighter shade of skin, they already are entitled to make fun of Steven's skin color. They think they are superior enough than Steven herself. And second example is that Chanela Salvador and Marcus incidents, the people involved judge the child's appearance immediately, which shows that they have a high sense of presumption. Envy. Example uh, shows how Filipinos can grow hatred to a certain person just because someone became a pageant representative regardless of their ethnicity or and appearance. Um, another example is that shows the same act of hatred to the couple's newborn baby because of its undeveloped appearance. The third one is wrath. For example, because of the Filipinos unknowingly desire for revenge, they have made noisy speeches and abuse towards Nova Stevens, even though the person was just doing what her heart desires. Um, another example is that in the thought of just criticizing whoever they wanted people have unknowingly created noisy speech, abuse, and quarrel towards people who have not even harmed them ever since. Discussion of the three capital sins. Pride. Pride became a personal sin due to a man's act of being superior against his equal. Then this pride became a social sin being said that this mindset has influenced others, has been publicized, and has damaged the individual in its most specific way. Envy. Envy became a personal sin due to a man's act of diminishing someone's own excellence. Then this personal sin became a social sin because of the community act against a certain person, in this case, Nova Stevens and Jude Patterson and Janela Salvador. Wrath. Wrath became a personal sin in the way that men acted recklessly, resulting in the production of noisy speeches that influence others to attack someone harmless. Can you please give our viewers three concrete, practical, and doable ways as to how they could eliminate cyberbullying in today's um, generation and what could, you, what could we do towards this issue? These three became the root cause of cyberbullying because of the people's untamed thirst for what they do not have. These inadequate potentials of such people resu resulted in their unusual thirst pushing them for an unrighteous pursuit. Three concrete, practical, and doable solutions towards how we could eliminate the issue, which is the cyberbullying, trolling, and bashing. Cyberbullying is a major issue that no one is allowed to experience. And with these certain occurrences, we have formulated such measures to provide solutions to the rampant event. The following are... First is promote healthy social media engagement, where we will advocate the Think Before You Click campaign, advising people to become mindful of what they should post and comment in the public. Second, spread awareness regarding the effects of cyberbullying, we will, where we will cite examples for the awareness to be realistic and not just some past statements. In this way, people will be twice or thrice hesitant to do such acts. Lastly, make a platform in which it automatically deletes all statements against someone. In this way, the publication of negative comments will not foster in the dig digital world and will not harm anyone or anymore.